Uh, the purpose of this module is to develop a SPICE model for a PV panel or a PV module uh, such as the PV panel that's used in the in the lab and we know that particular PV panel consists of 36 PV cells connected in series so <clears throat> starting from a PV cell model which is shown right here um, assuming all uh, cells have equal solar irradiation, uh, an equivalent circuit model for a complete panel can be obtained by um, adding uh, or multiplying the cell voltage by uh, the number of cells connected in series. So we can use a voltage controlled voltage source um, that simply multiplies the cell voltage by a factor n, where n is the number of cells in series. And so at this point here, we would obtain the output voltage of the PV panel, and the output current, IPV, would be the current uh, at the output of this controlled voltage source. Now the cell should be driven by exactly the same current, and so that can be modeled by including a current-controlled uh, current source which has a gain of 1. So this current here should be the same as the current at the output of the <coughs> of the voltage controlled voltage source. So this is the basic idea behind uh, modeling the PV panel in SPICE. So again uh, an important point to note is that uh, we assume that all cells are identical and that the solar irradiation is the same on all cells. This model that's based on simply multiplying the cell voltage by n is not going to be able to represent situations such as partial shading. Uh, the other point to note here is that uh, what we will use in a moment is that this current I0 uh, is really the current that is very close uh, to the short circuit current uh, of a PV panel uh, and that short circuit current is proportional to the solar irradiation as we know. <coughs> now uh, the SPICE model can be based on this approach. Uh, specifically we are going to use uh, a particular version of SPICE, it's called LT SPICE. Uh, it comes from this company called Linear Technology. Uh, here is the site where this tool can be obtained. It's a free SPICE version that doesn't impose limits on the number of components, so it's very convenient for us to use. Uh, and there is, uh, uh, you know, the Windows version has been around for quite a long time, and very recently it looks like there is a Mac version as well. Uh, if you have never used LT SPICE before, um, you would probably benefit from going through the Getting Started guide that's uh, also linked on this particular site. So when you open LT Spice, here is a type of screen that shows up, a variety of, of uh, choices in the, the menu. For example, to add a component, you would click on this button right here. That opens a window uh, with choices of standard Spice components uh, and the pointer to, you know, which are all located in a, in a standard folder. Uh, that's the default location uh, that comes with the installation of LT Spice. In the pull-down menu here, you will see the other choice would be the current folder where you're working, and we will, you will use that later on when you build your own components. You can use that folder to uh, place those com components into the schematic. Um, so here we are going to proceed, and, uh, uh, construct a complete uh, circuit model for uh, the PV panel. Uh, so notice here uh, the PN junction is modeled just as a basic diode with a diode model including uh, just one parameter, this IS current. Then we have the parallel resistance, the series resistance of the cell. Uh, that gives us the cell voltage right here. We multiply that by the number of cells in series uh, through a voltage controlled voltage source EPV. And that's where we get the output terminals of the, uh, of the PV panel. Uh, the reference polarity for the current going through EPV in SPICE is uh, uh, this, from uh, plus to minus. 
And so when we employ a current controlled uh, current source, the, it's called F cell, to replicate the uh, IPV current flowing in this direction, uh, you see that we have flipped the polarity of that uh, current control current source so that indeed IPV current is replicated as the current that is taken away from the uh, the cell model. <coughs> the cell parameters uh, are, are uh, all displayed here explicitly through this uh, SPICE parameter statement and that includes four parameters, the number of cells, the series resistance, the parallel resistance, and the IS current for the, the PN junction. And finally, notice that the ports uh, are labeled, VPV plus and VPV minus are the terminals of the panel, and then we have a place for external connection of the uh, current source that represents the short circuit current proportional to solar irradiation. So now the idea here is to actually enca encapsulate this PV panel into a sub-circuit, and you can do that by clicking on the hierarchy uh, menu uh, item right here. Uh, that brings up an option that's called open this sheet symbol. Uh, if the symbol does not exist, uh, then LT Spice will create a box with these uh, three terminals automatically and that is what is done on this page so we can use that symbol uh, for the complete embedded uh, sub-circuit inside in uh, various circuits that we want to build around the PV panel uh, and you can see this uh, is really the symbol uh, file it can be edited separately you can modify the shape of it and so on but we won't do anything right here we just save it as is and then proceed to construct a test circuit around the uh, PV module model. So again, this is just including that symbol inside a now a top-level test circuit. We add the short circuit current here. Uh, the you know, DC value, as an example, is 5 amps. And then we add um, a load circuit that consists of a series resistance and uh, <coughs> and a voltage source that we will use in a moment to sweep the voltages across the terminals of the PV uh, panel. So next, uh, you would typically uh, select the simulate um, option here, and then uh, pick what type of SPI simulation uh, you want to perform. Um, uh, we're assuming here a basic familiarity with SPICE and, uh, and various analyses you can do that include the transient simulation in time domain, large signal time domain transient simulation, AC analysis, which is a small signal frequency domain analysis, DC sweep is the one that we are going to choose here to uh, go through the DC characteristics of a circuit, and there are other options available. So for the DC sweep, let's choose uh, this voltage source VPV, as the source to be swept, and we sweep it from 0 volts to 25 volts with some fine resolution, so we get a lot of uh, points on the curves that we're going to generate. Uh, we want to do that sweep over several different values of the short circuit current, meaning several different values of the solar irradiation, so you said the second source to be swept is ISC, with a linear sweep from 1 amp to 6 amps with a step of 1 amp. So we're going to generate a, a, you know, six, uh, a family of 6 curves corresponding to different values of, of ISC. You know, say OK. Uh, that's going to place the SPICE command line for this particular type of simulation that we have selected. At this point here, you click on this button right here. It says Run Simulation is going to generate um, another window uh, that allows you to plot the waveforms, so the plot the results of simulation. Uh, the, if you click back to the uh, schematic file, you will have voltage probes available and a symbol like this. This is like a little current uh, probe clip that allows you to plot the current. So in this case here, we would like to plot the IPV current which is the current going uh, this way, 
and that current is the current that actually flows through uh, the VPV uh, voltage source and we want to plot that current as a function of the voltage uh, V of PV so let's see how to do that so we select to plot the uh, current through the voltage VPV that generates a family of curves. You see here we have six different curves corresponding to six different values of uh, of the short circuit current. Uh, but the horizontal axis here is uh, is actually VPV voltage source, and we want to replace that uh, with a V of PV. And simply click on the horizontal axis, and that allows you the choice of replacing what a quantity is plotted on the horizontal axis. We want V of PV to be the horizontal axis, say OK, and here is again that family of curves with the horizontal axis now being the desirable you know, quantity here, V of PV. Okay? Now, in addition to the family of curves of the current versus voltage, for this PV panel we would like to plot output P as a function of voltage, you can add a plot plane, and in the second plot plane uh, display uh, the curves that represent the product of V of PV and I PV, which is the power output from the PV panel. Again, a family of six curves corresponding to six different levels of solar irradiation. You know, and finally, you know, we don't like the uh, the scales. Uh, now, obviously, the swap sweep in simulation, you can do whatever you like, but normally you would uh, be limited to uh, the range of voltages that result in current that is. Uh, and the power that are just positive. There is no, uh, you know, there's no purpose to, you know, biasing the the, the panel backwards and and uh, spending power instead of generating power. And so we're going to limit attention to the curves that are limited to the positive values of the current generated and positive values of the power generated. And here is the last slide in this module that shows a nice set of of um, curves that represent power and uh, current as functions of the voltage across the output of the PV panel. Now, of course, you can do many other simulations. You can do um, um, transient and, and small signal simulations and so on with the same um, um, sub-circuit. And in the next module, we are going to use that sub-circuit to build our complete system that includes the battery, the buck DC-DC converter, and the PV panel.